Hey! What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Our new area is done, and the cows produced fantastic milk overnight. Man, we made a lot of money. I mean, a whole lot of money. I don't know if I can show you guys this. Let's, let's get from above. Check this area out right here. So before, of course, you know, 3035 had, you know, this a line down the center. And then 35 came around here. It kind of like looped up over here. So we added this whole section right here. Man, that is going to make it so much easier to harvest. And there's something else that's going to make it a little bit easier to harvest too. We called Mustang Man and Howard Bot reason we called them because they're both on lone oak right now however they're taking a little break and so i said hey i need some combines to get this work done much faster and they said sure so howard bot sent us over his new holland cr 1090s with 45 foot draper headers two of them and mustang man sent us over his 9230s with tracks with 45 foot draper headers. These things are incredible. <laughs> Not only that, we still have our two case harvesters. We have our 9230s with duels. This is going to be absolutely insane. This harvest is about to go nutso. So, with that being said, let's uh, go nutso. We are doing canola today. You guys are curious. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Let's hop out of here. Ooh. Man, look at these things. These are sick. Only thing I don't like about them, they don't go very fast. These combines right here, the case combine, will run about, yeah, 12 miles an hour. <laughs> Which it, I'm not mad about. It doesn't irritate me. It's just like, can can we go a little bit faster like is that cool we could we can go faster than this now the reason i'm overlapping a little bit is there's some there's an area down there at the end that's kind of funky <laughs> but is this not crazy or what this is i mean this whole shebang going on right here six combines we're about to run them all too that's right we are going to be running them all Big shout out to Mustang Man. Big shout out to Howard Bot 5000. Getting it done. Actually, we need to do a line right down through here. Again, we have crop destruction turned off. Just makes it a little bit easier to get harvest done. Because right now we're harvesting like every day. Trying to get silo full so we can do a massive sale in one day. See how much money we can make. So we can see how much you guys could make. All right. Need to unfold the harvester first, but I don't want to. Come on. There we go. So what do you guys think about this? Is this not crazy or what? Right now we got four combines going at one time. All four case. We haven't even done the New Holland yet, which we will be doing very, very shortly. I just have to get a headland done. Well, I got to get a headland done here, but I need to get a headland done down there as well. All very good things. And uh, <clears throat> some of you probably have noticed I've kind of neglected the greenhouses <clears throat> so today we're going to get those back up and running as well and if i don't somebody needs to drop down the comments section hey dj you didn't do what you said you was gonna do what's up with that homie <laughs> call me out get me don't don't let me slide don't let me slide unless it's a dk slide then that's a cool slide oh yeah so let's get this done as you can see look how much extra room we've got here look how much extra we've got speaking of extra i missed a little bit this is no good and well bam <laughs> and through here now one thing i have noticed is okay so i'll try and hire a worker yeah the worker will not work over here next to the building i don't know why it just won't do it 
so this at least this area right here I have to do myself now that area I think he'll be okay with but this area I still need to do by myself so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come through here de -de -de -de, de -de 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 -de. and then I am going to hire a worker as soon as we get past this building and in five four three two one hire worker come on really you are not done with your task, homie. There we go. Now we hire the worker. Sweet. And last but not least, the New Holland Combines. Let's go ahead and get this unfolded. I don't think anybody's running... Oh, yeah, he is running 80%, isn't he? Uh, that's not good. We still need to get these going, get them done. Okay, so it's just Helper P right now that's doing that. All right, cool. Cool with me, cool with me. Let's, uh, well, I said let's do a headline. How about this? Instead of getting a headline done, why don't we just go ahead and set this worker going? And then we'll come back and kind of clean up after him. What do you guys think about that? Let's do that. And open this up. And we'll bring him over here. Five combines going at one time right now this is crazy this is absolutely insane upper p is a full grain tank well we'll have to take care of that another thing we're going to do is how fast we get yeah that's right we got 25 or 24 miles an hour with this guy i haven't i try not to <laughs> i try not to use it that much because it is very i mean it is obviously the best combine in the game hands down you cannot argue the fact it is the best it's the best the best new holland combine is the best yeah <laughs> uh i saw a couple people saying hey we should cut down the tree and then buy that field and it'll be nice and square uh -uh. it's called lone oak for a reason it is the lonest oak of them all we can't do that that would be rude. All right, come through here. <laughs> Is that our soybeans from last time? I think we had a little bit of an overlap with our soybeans the last time we came through here. Oops. Bring them right here. Hire worker. Awesome. Let's go get the semi. Let's start getting these things unloaded. We have helpers all over the place that are getting full, that are needing help. I mean, they are. Oh, wow. That was a. Kind of a cool drift right there, wasn't it? I like this truck. I really do. But oh my gosh, black sheep modding. It is so tough to drive. Can we make a change, please? Oh, I love you guys. You're awesome. And and I had heard through the grapevine that you're not doing anything else until Farm Sim 19 comes out. Also, there's been a lot of talk from a lot of mod makers and people are starting to hear these things the wrong way so i'm gonna clear up a few things these mod makers are not stopping making mods they are simply waiting until farm sim 19 comes out because right now we're in that that period where oh and he's good we're in that period right now where if you made a mod let's say you sent it out today or yeah, tomorrow. We'll say tomorrow. Today? Yeah, today. Because today is tomorrow for me. Anyway, back back to what we were at. Uh, <laughs> if you sent it off, then you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily be getting it in the pot until oh gosh, I mean it, it'd probably be a month before it came out. Well, guess what? A month from now, it's going to be October 9th. Guess what comes out a month and 11 days after that? Yeah, Farm Sim 19. So people are literally going to have a month and 11 days to enjoy your content. And that's if it does come out in that month. There's a possibility that it won't. What if your mod gets, gets denied? What if? I don't know. I don't know what if. There we go. There's one. Uh, so you really have to think about that and say to yourself, is it really worth getting the mod out? Because people are only going to play with that mod for a month, and then they're going to have FS19. Now, granted, not everybody's going to buy FS19, but a lot of people are. And 
we're going to be doing our FS19 giveaway as soon as the official pre-order starts. Now, some people are saying, oh, DJ Goham, the official pre-order's already started. Uh, it hasn't. They have not released any pricing or anything other than the base game model. So, that's what we're waiting on. So that we can give away some extra copies. That's right. So, I'll be giving away two copies myself. I know FS Club's giving away a copy. I know Smoke's giving away a copy. I know... Well, I don't actually know if Farmer Men's giving away a copy or not. Farmer Men, if, you get, if you're watching this right now, are you giving away a copy of FS19? I thought I remembered hearing something about... Uh, something about you doing something like that but i could not remember all right let's do that come on through here and and i'm sure there's plenty of other fs youtubers that are going to be giving away money but or not money <laughs> giving away copies of uh farm sim 19. so uh if you are maybe drop down in the comment section um let's let's send some people some send some people y'all's way and and uh and boost some some youtubers hey i watch a ton of youtubers and i love it why do i love it because there's so many guys that put out different content and i love seeing all the creativity and everything from everybody it's so cool so when people say like oh you know you're my favorite youtuber that is awesome first off foremost and that hits me right in the feels it really does and I think not only, don't just watch one guy for Farm Sim. Watch like 10, 10 YouTubers for Farm Sim. You're going to be getting a lot better content that way. And, you know, some people say, oh, don't watch Dagger when he's just doing it for the views. Don't watch Squad. He's just doing it for the money. Um, I mean, it is their job. <laughs> so there is that. Uh, but, you know, they do put out good content. And it may not be for everybody. But it might be for you. You might enjoy it. So, just saying. All right. So, we got that done. We got that helper doing the south end. That helper's doing the north end. Yep. <laughs> just double checking. Let's go ahead and unload here. And then we are going to head up. Here we go. And we're going to unload the other guys as well. And we'll get there. I feel like I'm rambling a lot. I'm looking at the time and I'm like, wow, I've rambled for a while. But because i love you guys it's the only reason all right back at it let's get to work still going still going strong i have turned around one of the helpers on 45 so now we're going up and down and side to side shut that door cut through here i think i am going to go ahead and dump this this is our second load man tell you what you underestimate how large 30 35 really is that is that is definitely our largest field by far. Ooh, a little, little lag going on. Not too bad. Dropping some frames. Ooh. Well, we are running six workers, aren't we? And this is where all the equipment is around the farm. Okay. Also, let's take a look at animals. We haven't taken a look at animals today. So, 176 pigs. When I started playing, we had 150. That was 177. Well, not since you saw, but since i started uh and then for cows we have 208 so we've had eight cows be birthed but they're doing every five five ish hours so we're getting four plus cows every day plus liquid manure is going up let's also take a look what do we've got right now Hundred and twelve thousand liters of canola so we're not quite halfway there yet however we are getting there <clears throat> We're getting pretty far along. This helper's doing a good job. They probably got one to one and a half more passes before they start running out of stuff to do. So, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep unloading. And we're going to try and get all this done as quick as possible. Now, we have one, at least to my knowledge, only one more of the six primary crops needed to fill up. And that's sunflowers. And of course, we need special tools and everything to get that done. So we might, A, sell a few things, or B, we might buy a few things. Right now, we have two planters that could do sunflowers. I'm not sure if 
we really need to get more than more than that but I know sunflowers you don't get much sunflowers so I'm not even sure we would get more than about 150,000 off of all these fields let me know down in the comment section what you think but I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant 38 and 53 our other two fields I think I'm gonna plant both of them here we go let's drop that there we got it somebody that's fussing who's fussing Oh, it's our guys. Uh-huh, of course it is. What you fussing for, huh? You got no reason to fuss. Oh, well, let's get them down here. They've, they've done a good job and they've worked together. This is the first time they've actually done a good job working together side by side. Oh, well. Perfect timing, I guess. Let's keep going. I think these guys are almost done, so therefore I'm going to start using them to hit some headlands. I don't know how much these guys are going to have right here. Uh, we've finished up most every field. Well, we finished up these two fields. I line these guys up. I wonder if this is going to work. I don't have a lot of room left in here. So I know this is going to fill up pretty daggum fast. And I am correct. Look at that filling up. Uh, I don't think... We, yeah, we're going to have to come back. Hey, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to come back. Those guys are at least a quarter to a third of the way full each. This field's going along strong. One of the helpers did <coughs> cough, cough, finish their work. False. So we're gonna have to reset them in order to keep going. We're gonna do that while this unloads. Ooh. And I have been thinking, I think that I'm gonna buy another truck. Okay. Where is our problem child? Right here is our problem child. Eh, they've missed some, but that's okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this part right here. That way we don't have to worry about it anymore. Then we're going to set them up there. I'm very interested to see how they handle the new space. I don't know if they're going to handle it well or if they're not going to handle it well. Also through here, I'm going to hit the outside headland versus coming through the inside. So, again, you guys, I hope you're not getting tired of seeing harvesting. I know a lot of people love harvesting and just all you want to see is harvest, 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 harvest. And I'm cool doing that, but <laughs> we got other stuff to do. However, right now, that is our job. Harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. We've got one more day of this. And then we get to sell. We get to make a buttload of money. I mean, money out the boot koodles. We could have been making money this whole time, but we have not been selling because I want to wait to sell everything one day. Now, we, we did hit really good prices this morning for soybeans. I believe it was like $3,300 or $3,400. Insane. Absolutely insane price. But can't do it. Can't sell it. Because, well... It's not the rules. We had to set rules for ourselves. All right, they are still on the other side of the new section. This is right here, right in the middle of the spawn area. Can we set a worker right here or is it gonna give us the green light? Okay, worker's hired. Is he gonna do it? We're getting close to the building. What is it gonna do? Ooh, it's working. Okay, I think we can quit babysitting this guy. And this guy's got one, well, quote, quote unquote, one more, one more run. All right, how are we looking? 182,000 liters of canola. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We do need some more barley, and I think we need some more soybeans as well. We got some this and that to take care of. We've got a helper here. We need to go ahead and unload them as well. Tell you what, these having six of these has been really, really nice. And I'm considering buying one of these case uh, case combines from Mustang Man. I wonder if he'll let us let us buy from him. Now we will have to get the tracks removed and put the wheels on. I can't stand going slow with the tracks. It's the the thing about farm sim that i have found is it's not the work that gets you it's the time between the work so how fast can you get from one job to the next that is the killer so 
with these going 12 miles an hour when I could have them going 16 it's not a big difference but it is a difference it is a larger difference so nonetheless let's keep moving baby yeah putting the final touches on the map now got some interesting stuff going on over here oh yeah so what we've done is of course you know we hired workers to do everything for us and then came and cleaned up and i recommend that you do the same here's why because the workers are going to go as far out as they can before something bad happens and what you could do is you it's not that you're going to mess it up for the worker but if you go through and hit your headlands and then hire your worker, there's a chance that whenever you come back around, that worker's still gonna miss some spots. So then you have to clean up again. You're still gonna have to hit those headlands. You're still gonna have to clean up. But as you can see in this case, the worker has actually hit quite a few of the headlands points. So, you know, as I'm just sitting here going through getting little triangles, as most of you guys are probably used to. Um, so what I do is I put it on the field and hire the worker unless there's one spot that I know is going to be a problem. And when I get that spot, everything will be cool. So I recommend that you do the same. And if you don't want to, well, then you don't have to. It's, it's just simply what I do. <laughs> God, it looks like we're going the same speed as that other combine, but I know we're going as fast as this little guy will go. Here we are. I have talked to Mustang Man and Howard Bot, and they are going to let us hang on to everything until we are done with our next harvest. So they've been really cool, really kind as to let us keep everything. Why did I do that? <laughs> They're going to let us keep everything until we're done. And that is really cool, really nice of those guys. They did not have to do that. However, they did. So we're going to have six combines to be able to use for our next harvest of sunflowers. Just drop this in here now. Perfect. Let's angle that out a little bit. Uh-oh. There we go. I <laughs> don't know what I just did, but it was a wrong thing to do. So we only have one worker left, worker P. We're going to go around. We're going to clean everything up. We're going to put everything away. Fold up what needs to be folded and bring it back. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Bad things are happening. We're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Headers are going up. See you in a second. We're going to get everything put away. And I'm going to give you a final number for canola. There it is. Forgot what it was. <laughs> this is it right here. Can we fill up? Oh, yeah. Look at the double dump. Double dump. Hashtag double dump in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, was this a good picture? I don't, I don't know. Is this, is this good? Let's uh, let's go from like right here. How's how's that? Does that look cool? I think it looks pretty cool. Click. That might be Snapchat. 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 No, this is not Snapchat. This is YouTube's. Unless you're watching this on something else, which I'm not sure how you would because you you, you can't. But but if you are, yeah yeah. <laughs> All right, that is it. That is every single combine. They're all empty. Every single one. Can we get 250? I did. I just filled it up a second ago, and I didn't look to see how much we had. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 30. 20. No more capacity for canola. Yeah, baby. 250,000 liters of canola, and we still have 19,000 left. We are headed to Lone Wolf. We are gonna make a little bit more money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and a lone wolf right freaking now. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know, please subscribe. If you guys want to see anything, let me know down in the comment section. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comment section. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.